Armin in the back, 104.5, the team, your home for New York sports, getting you ready for the Breeders' Cup Classic this weekend. Barry Abrams of ESPN with us now, host of the In the Gate podcast, where he has completely handicapped the Breeders' Cup weekend today and tomorrow. Barry, how much is on the line for American Pharaoh in this race on Saturday? You know, that's a really good question, and I think the answer is a little bit, because I keep hearing that if he wins this race, and it's the first time he's ever gone against older horses, that it would increase his stud value by a, you know, by some margin. And, you know, when you talk about a horse of that caliber, of whom there haven't been very many in history, his stud value could be north of $200,000. And that if he defeats older horses for what will be his only try, you know, that stud value could go even north of that. On the other hand, if he really bombs in this race, the talk is that his stud value will drop. Smart horse people will tell you, once you win one grade one level race, the top level race in the sport, you're what mob people would call a made man. (laughs) I'm suddenly very jealous of a horse. I don't know what happened there. ESPN's Barry Abrams with Armin in the back. Check out his podcast, In the Gate, at ESPN.com. Barry, is American Pharaoh going to win this damn thing or what? Part of me says no, because there's a lot of talent in here. But the point is, if there isn't a horse in this race that's going to go up and push American Pharaoh in the early going, then they could just let him waltz away to victory. And there doesn't appear to be a lot of speed in this race, a lot of horses that are going to push him. So, you know, in a $5 million race, you got to dance with the girl that brung you. And if these horses let him get away, he's going to just bury them. And there's a part of me that says that's exactly what's going to happen. How, how big is it that Beholder is out of this race? That is big because she's one of those horses who could have pushed him. She is, I don't want to say a front runner, but she would definitely be forwardly placed. And I have a feeling that Gary Stevens, who would have ridden her, would know exactly what we just said, that you can't let American Pharaoh get away by himself to an early lead. So that's a big deal, not just because of her star power, but because of the way the race will be run. Barry, how do I, how do I cash in on this race, though, if it looks like Pharaoh might run away with it? Well, the best thing you could, I don't even know if you can. The only thing you could really do, because the race right before it is the turf. And if you were going to bet a double, I mean, Golden Horn, the absolute, probably the best horse running in the Breeders' Cup all day long, the winner of the Arc de Triomphe and the Epsom Derby, should blow that field away. The best thing you could do is do a pick three with, American Pharaoh, Golden Horn, and then, you know, go to the race before that and, you know, throw a few darts at the board because you're, I, I just don't think you're going to make a lot of money. Now, even if American Pharaoh loses, Honor Code will be right there. Frosted may be right there. And those horses aren't going to be a lot of money either. So that, that, that's going to be a tough way to make money if you're looking at the classic. Now, if you want to make some money at the Breeders' Cup later this afternoon, in a race called the Distaff, which is basically the female equivalent of the classic, I think the favorite wedding toast, who looked very good at Saratoga this summer, is going to get trounced. She's 4-1, to one, a tepid favorite, but she's one of those front-running horses who needs to have it her own way, and unlike American Pharaoh, she's not going to get that in the Distaff. There's a lot of speed in the Distaff, and I think they're going to totally toast her, pun intended, and there are some long shots in that race that could make you a lot of money. One of them, Frivolous, who's 30-1. to 1. If you look at her record, she should be a lot better than that, better than those odds. ESPN's Barry Abrams, host of the In the Gate podcast, handicapping this entire Breeders' Cup weekend on that podcast. In the Gate, check it out, ESPN.com, at B. Abrams Voice on Twitter. Barry, great catching up with you, man. Good luck this weekend to you. Enjoy it. Thanks, gentlemen.